What's up all my fellow commanders out there? We're going to come back and do another video again. So stay tuned guys. This one's going to be interesting. Welcome back everybody to the channel. I appreciate all you guys clicking on the video and watching it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that way whenever I upload videos, you guys can know about them. I do try to post daily, but there are some times I miss a day, um, especially during the holiday season. So happy holidays to all those in America um, and who are celebrating holidays. You know, for us Americans, it's uh, time to get fat as if we didn't need an excuse to eat anymore. But it is Thanksgiving and it is going to be fun. So uh, stay safe, guys, and I hope everybody enjoys the video. If you would, leave a comment down below if you want additional information or maybe share some more ideas or things that I couldn't cover. Uh, try to cover all the topics, but, you know, people watch the video. They might look at the comment section, and they might want some additional information. So let's help one another out. Anyway, guys, today's video is about alliance uh, information as far as people were asking me, how to build, how to do things within the Alliance. Um, a lot of people who had just downloaded the game, started up their own Alliance, trying to build it up and such. Um, so this is just going to be a basic going through um, some of the different Alliance uh, territory and, and such like that. So let's go now and let's create an Alliance. Call it English. <clears throat> now, it took 500 gold to create it. It creates it like this. You have these buttons, members, wars, research, places, territory, supplies, options, and store. Of course, that will be in your native language, um, whatever you pick. Um, the options setting has alliance settings applications other alliances and to of course leave the alliance which if i leave it would just disband the alliance but let's go in the alliance settings it's going to allow me to select um a kind of flag so let's do something like this maybe that guy no let's do this guy right here um we can pick the color so we can pick red and then Let's do this right here and yeah so let's just pick the the cream colored whatever so red blue and the cream color so anyway so that's that it says the name the short name what that means is just the initials that will show up uh what language you want it um whether or not it needs a approval um or to close the applications or no approval, meaning people can just click join into your alliance and they can just join it and drop out of it and join it as many times as they want. Uh, most of this is pretty standard. Um, the alliance manifesto right here, just just the welcoming message and such like that. Um, you can look in here for your applications. And members, as you can see, the leader right here. And when you have the officers, the officers that come in, they have a um, they have abilities that uh, rank three, two, and one do not have. Um, they can do a lot of things like building and such like that. But there are some things that they are not able to do. Um, only the leader can demolish a building or get rid of it in the territory. But the officers can always build. Um, but anyway, you can rank people up throughout here. Uh, as you see fit. So if you have a level one, you click down, you see these, you can click on the name and you can um, upgrade them. And you also have territory. So you have a central command. And the central command is really, really important because from it, you get territory. So as you can see right here, they have a central command. And off of this road, if you don't notice it right here, this road that's going right here, it has these villages and these villages have to be connected so when this central command goes and you know you have red all the way around from the central command 
you also can expand the territory by the village. And what that is, is that is, let me get over here, sorry. These guys right here, are the Alliance Turret. So you see how it says Alliance Turret right here? You can build more turrets um, once they become available. So the stronger you get, the more uh, members you get. Uh, building a command center is first. Um, and then you can go into your research or technology. And I believe you can... Um, you can upgrade it to where, you know, you have different things like this, like uh, resources, bureaucracy. So this one right here increases the village max. So it adds 10 more to where you can be able to expand more territory and such. Um, but needless to say, you need the command center. And so the command center, one of the conditions is, is I need at least 20 members and I need 100K power right and the second condition so you can have a second command center is 40 members and 10 million power and that's what you need to be able to do the central command um as you can see i just started this so i don't have you know hardly anything or whatever so i definitely need more members um to be able to do it uh right here you can do places so like if there's an object or something like that you sh you could be able to mark it um, like this so if you're in an alliance and one of your members is doing something or you wanted to call attention you can click on it you can click the symbol up here not the share because that shares to chat or somewhere else but you can click up here we'll click the flag and we'll say build here and it does that so that way whenever you are here and your guys are around you have a flag that's going to say you know hey i went here or move here build here anyway it is it, just a way to to assign that or whatever so um you can do the same thing by deleting it just like that so those are some of the different things that you can do tag wise now the thing about occupying space is once you get your command center down you're going to have to find a village that's not occupied like say they have this village right here right so you see the road comes down and this road is going up here however it's connected by these railroad tracks right so they can take from this village they can go up and they would attack this village right here okay now once they attack this village and it doesn't take a bunch of people you can literally have a single person attack one of these village it's going to burn down for like 30 minutes or something like that and once that village burns then they will be able to build a turret which is the village, but the turret, they would be able to build it there. See how it says like build central command? I would be able to build a turret there. And what it would do is, because of the road, it would connect here, and now the red would come out and it would go around here, right? And then from this village, I could come over here and go to this village right here or this village right here, and I can keep on expanding like that. Like these guys are expanding, and as you can see, they have a village here, and they're going over here and they're took over this village and they're going this way so forth and so on so afterwards they can come over here you know what i mean and take this village and they can keep on moving as they're uh, as they go now here is one of the key things and i want to try to keep this short because i know you guys are like get to the point the key thing is is your base has to be on it so if you are an r4 or an r5 or you're you know an officer or leader your base needs to be in the area. So I am going to, my base is in the area. I'm going to click on this. It's going to allow me to build. If I'm way the heck over here, you know, way over here, and I try to do something, it's, it's not going to be good. 
You need to have the base in there. And why? You asked me, like, why would that be relative? Because the base actually builds the, the turret, the village. And the more people in your alliance afterwards that come and they, you know, they relocate themselves, you know what I mean? Just like this. And then, you know, they, they, they march over here, you know, and they build like this. When they build their base, it's going to start building. And it's going to give them points for building. So it's going to give them not only alliance points, but credits and stuff like that. So you have, you know, six, seven people that are, you know, between, you know, level 15 and 20 in the early game right now, per se. They're going to go and they're going to put their bases around here and it's going to build. So that is another rec prerequisite that you have to have is that you need people to be in the area to be able to build. And the more people, the better because it goes faster. Also, one of the things that you're going to need to build some of these turrets, um, and I could show you whatever, uh, well, it doesn't say it right now, but you're going to need um, alliance points to be able to put them down. And how do you get alliance points? Well, you research. So like if I'm researching and I go to click this, like it says four, the contribution rewards is going to be 100, the tech points, and also 100 points right here. And so uh, some of them, you know what I mean, help me, and some of them help the alliance. And when they have enough points, they're able to spend those points not only on the turrets and the command centers, but they're also able to spend them on the store so they can, you know, purchase some of these items in the store for these points or whatever, and then you can stock it, and then and, uh, any member can buy from them. Anyway, this is just a short video on an overview. It's not every single thing that there is on Alliance, and I know there's a lot of particular situations, but this is just a short overview of creating an Alliance and what an Alliance is. Anyway, guys, appreciate you staying tuned. Till next time, guys. Peace.